Robin M says, five stars. I read these with my granddaughters. We love the easy explanations on a level that isn't childish, but easy enough for even a five-year-old to comprehend. My granddaughters range from five to nine. I don't see anywhere there needs to be improvement. Well, thank you. Sean M says, excellent. Got to ask my little one after reading it, asking her, if you feel like a bird, are you one? She answered, no, of course not. Thank goodness your daughter's smarter than all these liberals. Laura says, amazing, loved them. My only complaint is that there aren't more. Schools need to be teaching these books in the classroom. Yes, we want every brave book in every classroom. Alt right, all wrong garbage. Okay, mortified by the right wing propaganda. The idea is commendable. The execution is abysmal. Lying to children and indoctrination to a false portrayal of Christian conservative values. This has MAGA written all over it. Okay, Laura, you are a bundle of sunshine and rainbows. Glad you are alive. This one's from Kevin. Kevin writes, just wanted to thank you for your ministry. I read Elephants Are Not Birds. As an educator and coach in both the public and private schools, your ministry is a breath of fresh air. Thank you. No, Kevin. Thank you. Tim Shaw says, thank you so much. My six-year-old absolutely loves these books and we look forward to the new book every month. She even takes them to school and reads them to her class. This week, her classmates told her she brings the best books to read. Again, thank you. Well, that was really sweet. <laughs> um, that's awesome. We do make the best books, so her classmates are right. Stephanie says, love, love, love. This book was amazing. I was getting teary-eyed a few pages in. It did a great job of showing babies, the disabled, and the elderly are all important and worth fighting for. Amen. Uh, she's referring to our book, Little Lives Matter which uh, teaches a lesson to kids that all life has value from the cradle to the grave. And that is something that we believe at Brave and hold dear to. Amanda says, better than expected, easy to understand, brilliant material, and the kids love the games in the back of the book. Thank you. Glad you like it, Amanda. We've got more books coming out and I hope you look forward to all of them. Justin H says, a steaming pile of elephant dung. Okay, wow, it's starting out great. Best left on the circus tent floor. What happened to Sut? Tulti and children's entertainment. Culture the vulture? Question mark. Come on, you're not even trying. Give me a break. Okay, Justin. If you want to try to convince me that culture the vulture isn't the perfect name for culture today, you're you're about as smart as as um something stupid. So Christopher says, home run. Excellent quality. My daughter was very accepting of the book and is interested in the characters and story. It deals with some complicated topics in the way to introduce a conversation to young ones at an appropriate level. Thanks, Christopher, for your nice comment. Chad D says, this book was better than expected in every facet. The artwork was wonderful. All of my children really enjoy the story. We've read it to the point of memorization already. As a parent, I love the message the story taught. Kevin was perfect for the task at hand. The added gem of the family activities included brought hours of joy. Great fun, great story, great message. Must buy for every family. Chad D, if you ever want a job as a salesperson, you got it. Casey K says, thank you for your time and for all that you've been doing to stand up against our insane culture. Casey, I can't agree more with that statement. This culture is literally getting more insane by the day, but that's what we're here for. Sandy says, Lots of hearts. Um, this amazing book gently reinforces the sanctity of life in an age-appropriate and engaging format. From the sweet illustrations and the story to the family time activities reinforcing all that life is sacred, it is a book to be treasured. And as a family with both a neurotypical children and children with special needs, it warms our hearts to know that this book will open conversations for families about the importance of God's love for all people. Oh, I love that. So sweet. And it's so fun because I do, you know, a lot of work behind the screen here in the office. And so to see these reviews from real people who actually have the fruit of our labor in their hands and, you know, they're giggling about it and reading it before bed. Oh, it's just so fun to see that and to remember, like, what we do really makes a difference. So I love this. 